Hello students, welcome once again to Chem Estry. In this video, we want to solve this question which requires us to apply the first and the second laws of Faraday in electrolysis. If you are given this question in an exam, what would you do? What would be your approach? I have a flow chart or some steps which we use. Let me summarize the steps as follows. These are the steps we go through in order to solve these kind of questions in electrolysis. Quantity of electricity is equal to electric current times time. The same quantity of electricity is equal to amount of substance. What substance? Amount of electrons in moles times the Faraday's constant. Then you will do some small mole ratio. Then later on, we will use our formula mass is equal to amount in moles times molar mass. Follow me. Let's use this chart to solve our question. So, what are the parameters we have been given in the question? We have been given current of 2 amperes. Then time. Time, 30 minutes. But we have to convert the time from minutes to seconds. And we know every 60 seconds make a minute. So 30 minutes will be equal to 60 times 30. And that should give us 1,800 seconds. So we have our current in amperes, we have our time in seconds. So let's start with our procedure. First, we find the quantity of electricity that will be passed through. So Q is equal to IT. I is 2, T is 1,800. And that should give us 3,600. The units for quantity of electricity is Coulomb. Then... We use the quantity of electricity and F, which is our Faraday's constant, to calculate our amount of electrons in moles. So we know our Q is equal to N F. And that means that our N, when we make it the subject, will be equal to Q over F. So if you want to know the amount of electrons in moles, we just divide this quantity of electricity in Coulomb by our Faraday's constant. So 3,600 Coulomb divided by 96,500 Coulomb per mole. So Coulomb will cancel Coulomb. Huh? Then the per mole will become moles of electrons. When we divide this, we are going to get 0 0.0373057. So we can say 0 0.0373 moles of electrons. So we are done with the first step and the second step. Our third step is to use mole ratio. We are looking for the mass of lead metal deposited. This one will actually occur at the cathode. Reduction occurs at the cathode. And reduction is gain of electrons. So at the cathode, PB, Br2, actually in, in our electrolytic cell, will break down into PB2 plus and 2Br minus ions. Huh? 
So at the cathode, we will have Pb2+. plus In the liquid state, accepting two electrons to form Pb in the solid state. If it were to be copper, in copper sulfate, it will still be Cu2 plus plus two electrons. If it were to be silver, in silver chloride solu uh, solution or silver chloride sample, then that one is going to change. Ag plus plus an electron. Good. So this is our equation. Our mole ratio. Actually, we read this equation as there is no number here, so we assume it to be one. One mole of Pb2 plus plus two moles of electrons going to produce one mole of Pb in the solid state. So the coefficients are also called the what? The moles. So let's compare the moles of Pb formed to the moles of electron, which we have already calculated over here, using the quantity of charge and the Faraday's constant. So amount of electrons to amount of Pb is 2 over 1. That is the mole ratio. Then we cross multiply. You could also do it amount of Pb divided by amount of electrons. In which case, the fraction will now become 1 out of 2. So with this, we can calculate the amount of Pb because we know the amount of electrons to be 0 0.0373 moles. Then we divide it by the amount of Pb is equal to 2 over 1. We will cross multiply 2 times the amount of lead is equal to 0 0.0373. Then we divide both sides by 2. Then we get our amount of Pb is equal to 0 0.01865 moles of lead metal. We are done with the mole ratio. And we have been asked to find the mass of lead metal deposited. So we just use our formula. Mass is equal to amount times molar mass. So 0 0.01865 times the molar mass of lead, which is 207. That will give us 3.86055, approximately 3.9 grams. That will be the mass of lead deposited at the cathode. So whenever you are given these kind of questions that require you to apply the first and the second law of electrolysis proposed by Faraday, remember Q is equal to IT. Then Q is equal to NF where the N represents the number of moles of electrons. Then, you will use mole ratio to compare the amount of the substance to the amount of electrons. Then after getting that, since we have already calculated for the amount of electrons, we can find the amount of the metal deposited at the cathode. And from there, we can use our amount times molar mass to calculate our mass. Thank you.